Ever since I started this series, I've always wanted to tell you about the biggest thing that I didn't know that actually changed my life. And to this day, it still mystifies even the most learned scientists. It's called the double slit experiment, and it's pretty hard to explain. But if I do it right, it might just change your life too. Everybody take a deep breath and focus. Isaac Newton, back in the 1600s, argued that light was made up of particles, while another famous scientist, Huygens, argued that light was a wave. Okay, are we good so far? Let's dive back in. In the 1800s, Thomas Young figured out a way to finally put this to the test. He took light and projected it through a wall that had two slits in it onto another wall behind it. You'd expect to see two bars of light on the other side, right? Nope. Instead, what he saw were multiple bars of light of various intensity that scientists know as a clear signature of what is called a diffraction pattern. This is caused by waves. So grab your surfboards, everybody. You can see this for yourself by just agitating water with a single source. It sends out waves just as you'd expect. But if you add another source, the waves interfere with each other and either cancel each other out or amplify each other depending on where and how they interfered with each other. Okay, so light is a wave then, right? Well, kinda. This is where it starts to get weird. Buckle up. Scientists realized that firing thousands of particles or photons through the slits could actually cause them to simply collide with each other and make it look like a wave, but not actually be a wave. So they decided to shoot one photon through the wall at a time. Yet once again, the diffraction pattern, which suggested that somehow this single photon went through both slits and interfered with itself. Here's where it gets really, really, really weird. They decided the best way to figure out what's going on would be to put a detector at the slits to see which slit the photon actually went through. Are you ready for this? Are you sitting down? When they turned the detector on, the image on the far wall went from a wave pattern to two slits instantly. When they turned the detector off, it instantly went back to a wave pattern. And this experiment has been done thousands of times in thousands of laboratories, so this isn't woo-woo science. This is established scientific fact. So somehow, light behaves like a wave until it's observed and then instantly becomes a particle. To this day, we still have no idea what causes it. It eerily suggests that particles somehow know if they are being observed or not and alter their existence based on that knowledge. Now I can stop there, that's plenty of weirdness, but let's take it up a notch by moving it into the theoretical realm. In modern times, where we see this kind of behavior is in computer simulations. You see, in video games like Halo, the entire game is far too big to be fully rendered inside your computer. For efficiency, the game only renders the portion of the game that it needs to based off of what your character needs to see to play the game. So could we be living in a computer simulation? Yeah, we could. But in another strange twist, spiritual mystics for thousands of years have been saying the same thing that human life is not the base reality of existence, that there's something way beyond this physical universe than meets our eyes. If you're totally confused right now, don't worry. You should be. A lot of scientists are too. But if I did my job and your brain is about to explode, you're in really good company. Einstein went to his deathbed with no idea as to what causes this. Thus demonstrating not only how little I know, but how little we know. <laughs>